Hello, it's Churchill from Bankers Mental Health and today I'm here to talk to you about breathing and most importantly, your diaphragm. So, we breathe, of course, every day and that is essential for life. However, there is patterns into how we breathe. And especially on times when we tend to be stressed, we tend to start breathing as what we call upper chest, meaning we start using more the upper muscles of the rib cage to breathe. So if you do a bit like, like this, that is upper chest breathing. While it is important for those to move, the key one we want is to definitely be the diaphragm moving. So when we're breathing, we have a lot of muscles that are interacting. So namely muscles up here in the neck. You also have your pec minor muscle right here that comes and attaches to a few ribs there. And as then you have your intercostal muscles that help bring your rib cage up as well. And then you have your diaphragm, which is the biggest muscle for breathing that helps bring it back down. And of course, you also have your abdominal muscles that help with the movement. So we want optimal function for all those movements and for them to not be tight because we want your whole rib cage to move well so that you can take long breaths in and out. So I'm going to be showing you just in a minute how to try and make sure you're breathing with your diaphragm. That way you have making sure you're using it in a correct way. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to breathe with your diaphragm. So when we breathe with the upper chest, as I showed earlier, we breathe in like this and out. But what we want to do is think big belly. So when you breathe in, you push your belly upwards. That way you're really engaging with the diaphragm, okay? So you go like this in, put your hands on your belly, and when you breathe in, really exaggerate and think a big belly and out. So that is the motion we want to have because when you breathe in just with the upper chest, your breath will be more uh, shallow. So it's just gonna be, and that's it. While if you breathe with your diaphragm, it will go. There's a lot more breath coming to, uh, through. So that is a quick demonstration of how to breathe with the diaphragm. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to come see us and we'll definitely help you on that. Take care.